name is Stacy Ferguson and I am the 4-H Foundation Agent for Washington County. Today we are going to be making delicious grilled cheese. The really cool thing about making grilled cheese is that you can create a grilled cheese to your likings. You can use white bread, wheat bread, Italian bread, any type of bread really, or even Texas toast. You can also choose between many different types of cheese. Some of my favorites include mild cheddar, pepper jack, mozzarella, and munster. The first step is to butter our bread. I'm using a regular butter knife. This knife is dull and very easy to spread our butter. We will take one tablespoon of our butter at room temperature and spread it generously across one side of our bread. All right, 4-H'ers, before we begin making our grilled cheese, let's take a moment and talk about stove safety. Anytime you're cooking on the stove, always use a pot holder or an oven, oven mitt when handling hot pans. Also, keep the handles of your pans always pointed toward the back or inside back of the stove. Never point them out toward the, the front. You could easily get burned. The last thing to always remember is never turn your stove on until you're ready to cook. So I'm fixing to turn my stove top on a medium heat for these grilled cheeses. Medium on my stove is around four. You don't want the eye to get too hot and then it burn your toast before it melts your cheese. So let's let it warm up and get started. The first thing we're going to do is put one slice of our bread into the skillet butter side down. Butter side down. Then we're going to place our two slices of grilled cheese on top of our bread. And our last slice of bread we're going to put on top of our cheese butter side up. Now we're going to wait for the skillet to get hot and our butter to start melting and our cheese to start melting. All right, it's been about two and a half minutes, so we're going to flip our grilled cheese. We're going to take our spatula, slide it under your bottom slice of bread, and slowly flip it over. Now that our grilled cheese is finished, we're going to turn the stove off and then we're going to take our spatula, slide it underneath the grilled cheese, carefully pick it up, slide it on our plate. I'm going to take my oven mitt and remove the skillet from the hot burner. And remember, if you're a 4-H or 13 years or younger, always have a parent in the kitchen when you're cooking. You need assistance when you're around the stove. Now let's cut our delicious grilled cheese and see that ooey goodness. Doesn't that look yummy? So I am going to challenge my senior 4-H'ers to design and come up with your own special fancy delicious grilled cheese. The possibilities are absolutely endless. <clears throat> I have designed, because at our house we like pepperoni pizza, Italian bread, mozzarella cheese, bacon, pepperoni, and marinara sauce. So I've made a pizza grilled cheese. <laughs> 